She had the ideogram for excellence tattooed on her left inner thigh. On her right, a single, staring, coal-framed eye, which she said, to anyone who saw us, had once belonged to Horus, but which was called by other, older names as well. The former she'd picked from the wall of a parlour in a small town, Knots or Scots or something or other harbour well drunk and fifteen. And the latter, for God save her, she got in Australia while working as a dancer in some club on the cross, deeply in love with her dealer slash boss and stuck. But oh well, she said, we're only young once, and turned her face to the towel. In passing me a tube of SPF 52, she said, do my back, so I bloody well do, or did, scraping the sand from inside the lid, then applying a line to the dip in her spine between the top of her bikini briefs and the bottom edge of the extensive back piece she got when she graduated top of her class from chef's school. It's a cherub, copied well, not from Raphael or Michelangelo, but from a photo of Sarah's son, taken before he turned one, Michael the Banner Reads. 1999 to 2001. It's the UV or the infrared. Either way, she said, ink fades in the light. But even with her son between us, my own desires never do.